Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about what happens when a buyout doesn't go according to plan. And we all know that friend or that rival or that person in your store who purchased all of the visions and they purchased all of the uh, short of the meeks days before the ban list. And then now they're bragging about it. Well, to those people, I can say you probably didn't get everything correct. So a lot of people purchased Bloodbraid Elf. As you can see, the prices haven't corrected quite yet, but the mid price was $25 and the low price was $20. So the lowest price you could get for a damaged Bloodbraid Elf was $20. And the stock is still very limited because people haven't put up their Blood Braids back on sale because they purchased it for far more than they can now get for that card but it is a interesting psychology effect where the same people who purchased visions which is now 40 and shorted the meek which is 20 they probably purchased blood braid elf as well as and tons of other cards on the banned list because that's what happens all the time and the blood braid is no longer worth 25 dollars i'm not sure what it is worth i would guess the foil fnm promo at most near mint would be worth 10 dollars even then, I, would be, I wouldn't trade for it at $10 personally. But that's what I'm guessing it's going to be worth when you look at moderate, moderately played. Now, the non-foil version, which is, in my opinion, a lot better, uh, a lot more accurate as the current price, is around $4. You can pick up as many copies as you want around $3. Um, and it is very, very cheap. So, I mean... Buyouts are buyouts and people people always talk about the times they made money from a buyout or the times they got a great deal, they got 20 ancestral visions, but no one talks about the time they buy Blood Braid Elf and it doesn't become unbanned. Well, that happens as frequently as when you buy a card that becomes banned because again, you don't know. You don't know. Anyway, that's it guys. Bye. Oh, next tomorrow, I guess we're going to open Shadows over Innistrad. I'm not positive yet. Anyway, bye, guys.